Hello everybody, I just wanted to give you an update on where we're at with this update for the status box. I know a lot of you people are doing the prop firms now and um, it just kind of makes it hard to track where, you at, are, where you're at and then as far as some are realized and unrealized and I still get a lot of inquiries of what's the difference and whatnot and I think it's important. So what we're doing is we're adding this last line into the status box so you'll have it right on your screen um, just go through the tool so when you load the tool you can double click on any of the corners and pull up the little box here so I've just got it defaulting to a fifty thousand dollar account your uh, drawdown on that you know margin is gonna be twenty five hundred and then your goal basically is three thousand so uh, it'll trail from there you also have your choice to go from realized or unrealized and that's important um, you need to know that if you go to um, uh, the home page here and then you go into uh, referrals takes you here uh, all these prop firms have popped up in the last couple of years and um, you know some better than others and whatnot but that's here nor there but it'll I have on here you know what their splits are and whatever but then also re I think it's personally important realized and unrealized it's very important in, in my eyes to know you know how they're calculating their P&Ls because that's that's what it's all about. Um, and if you go into you know discount codes, which actually is I have right here, um, I would recommend subscribing to this one, uh, the discount codes because this goes out often. Anytime somebody um, right now it's kind of light, but a few weeks ago I had like eight or nine in here, so it changes a lot, but. Uh, needless to say, I would also recommend reading Understanding right here, Understanding the P&L and my take on that. So it's really important that you do that. You notice I have it posted pretty much everywhere. Um, if you go to Tools and then down to Status Box, I would also recommend, if you're interested in the Status Box, to subscribe to the Status Box itself or even all for that matter. But it'll just take you to the little uh, sign-up sheet for your email address and you'll get notifications. If you get in this notification via the YouTube channel I you know thanks very much I love the, love people you know subscribing to the channel and getting notified however um, I don't necessarily put out videos on every little thing so like the discount codes when I send out discount codes I don't put videos on that it just goes out as an email so I would definitely recommend subscribing to this particular list if you're interested in finding out what you know who's competing with others as far as the prop firms are concerned uh, and, but enough on that. Let me go back to this. So you need to know what it is, realized or unrealized. So I, I have a default in the realized because that's what I'm kind of, if you read some of my stuff, you'll probably realize that I'm kind of partial to realized P&Ls. Um, but you can also check things. Like in my case, I do a lot of the um, um, right here. You notice I don't even have, have an ATM strategy in here because uh, I don't really use it. I use my, my bot. So I don't need to see that. And if you've got your spouse coming in and you want to hide financials, you know, you can kind of bring it down to that. Uh, but in, in our case, in essence, we like to see that. If you don't care about how long you've been in the time, you can kill that one there. This only shows you the time that you're in the trade. It's kind of interesting, I found. You know, it's like sometimes you're in longer than you might, might think. So I kind of like to see that. And then obviously your statistics. If you don't really care about that, you can remove those, but I think those are very important, and you need to know what your statistics are right there. Contracts, M-A-E, M-F-E. So without further ado, I'm going to go with Realized and and go from there. So I've got a $50,000 account. This is, you know, zero trades. This is my very first trade. i got to unpause it. Um, let me go start my little thingy here. Entry. And uh, there's a... There's a uh, what do you call it a entry zone so i'm just going to go short on that one and maybe i'll go a little faster entry zone short yeah, yeah there it is okay so here's my entry zone and oh okay there it is so there's my target wherever that is so let me so it's right here so you can see here that it's 246 dollars um our uh this is the account peak so the account peak has went up to obviously fifty thousand two hundred and forty six dollars and our draw deal uh, our drawdown is still the same um that doesn't go up a lot of people seem to think that goes up no it's you have twenty five hundred dollars from your high to go back down so there's there's where it is and and that's what you got um now i could show you in the excel spreadsheet that we did for the math on this i could actually put this in here um that was a short and we got in at 
275 and we got out at uh, what was it? Um, 13, 150, 025. We don't need the intraday peak because we're not doing realized or unrealized. I'm sorry. Uh, get rid of this one, get rid of that one. Okay, so our balance is 50, uh, right there, 256.34, and our dynamic broad. Now, if we were to do, an, uh, if we selected unrealized, we would need to know our peak. Well, it would obviously know that internally, but let's say um, our peak was our high because we got out with our target, if I can remember hearing it correctly. Um, so that was our peak. So you can see here that the uh, unrealized portion is a little different. And the reason for that is because it came, it comes down. I mean, and that's how it's calculated and it's by design. And I don't really want to get into all the math on how that works, but needless to say, that's what it is. So if you were to, to go into the unrealized mode, you'd get a different balance, but um, you know, that's where it's at. So anyway, just wanted to give you that quick little video on where we're at with this. And if you want to stay up to date on it. Now this um, is not, here, let me go back to that uh, for, for status box page. Here's the latest update, and you'll notice it's not there yet. So it uh, this version I have not released yet, but I just wanted to give this video up because I know some people have been inquiring just where we're at. So it's getting there, and eventually in, in the very near future, but you know, subscribe to the emails here, and you'll get notified, uh, or subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'll more than likely do a YouTube on that. Uh, but just in case I don't, subscribe or subscribe to both for that matter. In any event, that's uh, that's really all I've got for today. Uh, just a little update. All right, thanks. Uh, have a good day. Happy trading.